2020 was definitely a challenging year. And here at FEG, we are so grateful that our Technology and Business Continuity Committee had us prepared. We were able to pivot and work from home in less than 48 hours successfully. We made it our number one priority to stay connected to our clients. This is a year where podcasts and webinars really helped us connect to our clients. Unfortunately, we had to cancel two major client conferences. Since we already had these great speakers lined up, we saw this as a great opportunity to bring the conversation directly to our clients in the form of a podcast. Today, we've had over 14 different podcasts recorded and thousands of listeners. The podcasts have been a real springboard for us to rethink all of our educational content and client outreach. How can we be more responsive to clients during a pandemic environment? And how does the medium need to change to better meet those clients in a virtual world? And so while this has been a very challenging year for us, we're very proud of the changes that we have made. FEG in February had signed a 10-year lease and decided to expand from one and a half to two floors here in Cincinnati in the PNC building. So we took the opportunity when the pandemic hit and all the workforce was working from home to go ahead and accelerate the remodeling. And we know that's going to be very exciting when we get to go back into the office at this new refreshed and energetic office space. Our two floors now will be connected with an internal staircase. This is going to increase our collaboration and increase our ability to work together to serve our clients well. We know the biggest challenge is the feeling of isolation of everyone working from home. So we created different groups and worked with our employees to make sure everyone felt connected. We also wanted to have fun. We did virtual yoga, trivia, and regular check-ins with everyone. We continued to get feedback and try to make everyone feel included and part of something in a challenging time when you're isolated and at home. Not only did we want to stay connected to our employees, we wanted to stay connected to the community. And that included to continue to do our charitable giving and work in action. So we continue to participate in the annual Arts Wave and United Way campaign. We also raised money for the local food bank. And we did our annual holiday event where the firm collected money and gifts to give to children that aren't as fortunate. Diversity and inclusion has always been an important part of FEG, but the past year it's become very important to make sure everyone knows that they're included. And so we created chats, conversational huddles about tough stuff where it's a safe place to have open and real dialogue about what's happening in the United States and what we can do better to make sure everyone feels included at FEG. We have had dialogue with our clients not only about diversity and inclusion about organizations but about their investment managers and also how to have the conversations to help build the community and making sure everyone feels comfortable at the table is so important. We are confident that the changes we've made in this past year will have a positive and lasting impact. We're also happy to be part of the Cincinnati community and proud of how the entire community has responded during this very challenging time.